Hello, it's Alexa, and welcome back to Nurses Notes 101. Today we'll be talking about cardiac surgery, so open heart surgery, uh, cabbages, and valve replacements. A cabbage is not lettuce. <laughs> it's also known as a coronary artery bypass graft and a heart bypass surgery. So a cabbage is a medical procedure used to optimize blood flow to the heart due to multiple vessels harboring severe coronary artery disease, untreatable with medications alone. So these are patients who they've tried on statins, um, calcium channel blockers, digoxin, different medications to try and optimize blood flow, to optimize cardiac output, and they still see a uh, issue with the patient's ejection fraction and having a low cardiac output. So at this point, the only possibility the patient has for improvement of cardiac functioning is open heart surgery. There are three different types of cabbage surgeries. That's traditional, which includes a thoracotomy and bypass machine during the surgery. There's also another type called off-pump, which is when a mechanical device is used to stabilize the beating heart. Um, without the bypass machine during the surgical procedure. Um, and that includes a thoracotomy as well. And then there's a minimally invasive approach to a cabbage surgery, also called a, a keyhole or a port access surgery, which is usually video assisted or robotic in nature. To the right, you can see a picture of a coronary artery bypass grafting. And you can see where the plaque is and where the new coronary artery bypasses were placed. Like previously said, um, indications of a cabbage are for those individuals that medical management did not work. Other indications include significant chest pain during exercise or at rest in more severe cases. Um, Indications also include left ventricular dysfunction. It includes several stenotic vessels, so not just one issue, but several. Or uh, the fact that the LAD in a patient could be substantially obstructed. So the LAD is the uh, major vessel that delivers blood to the left ventricle. So if this is substantially obstructed, it can really affect... Um, the patient's coronary and cardiac output. So even if this one vessel is just affected, a lot of times they will have open heart surgery because of it. If the patient suffers from arterial occlusion and it was unmanaged by balloon valvoplasty, that could be a reason for an open heart surgery. If a stented artery was unsuccessful and like previously said, if medical management was unsuccessful. In the picture on the right, uh, it shows images of a single, double, triple, or quadruple cabbage. Risk and complications associated with this kind of open heart procedure is always bleeding, the risk for arrhythmias, wound infection at the site, uh, patients going into renal failure, strokes, um, and blood clots, which could lead to heart attacks. So one of the biggest risks I know that uh, people look for is clots breaking off either to the brain, which could cause a stroke, or clots breaking off to the heart, which could cause a heart attack. Um, other complications associated with cabbages could be ischemia, prolonged mechanical ventilation, like previously said, kidney injury, and then post-op, if the patient uh, is putting out a lot of blood or hemorrhaging. A lot of times um, in these situations when they're putting out a lot of blood in the chest tubes, they can be a reoperation and go right back to the OR. Next topic I want to talk about in this uh, presentation is about valve replacements. So valves are located between each heart chamber and they work in propelling the blood forward through the circulatory system. 
In our heart, we have the tricuspid, pulmonary, mitral, and aortic valve. Based on patient's symptoms and overall uh, health, a leaky and or stenotic valve can be repaired or replaced. Valve replacements are either done open or minimally invasive, and the different kind of valves someone could get are either uh, tissue, whether it be human or animal, or carbon plastic. There are some symptoms and risk associated with valve replacements. So if a patient comes in and they have frequent complaints of dizziness, chest pain, shortness of breath, palpitations, edema, and weight gain, as the primary care physician, if they're coming in with complaints of this, uh, this could be a reason why they could need a valve replacement. If medical management hasn't worked and it's affecting their livelihood, uh, when the valve is replaced, the risks associated with post-operative care are similar to uh, cabbage risks, so blood clots, strokes, bleeding, infection, risk for pneumonia due to atelectasis and infection in the lungs, pancreatitis, arrhythmias, and potentially death. An example question for this case, so for cabbage, I'm going to have the question here and then the answer on the next slide. So look at this, take your time, and then when you're ready to answer, go to the next slide and see if you got it right. So which assessment by a nurse caring for a patient post-op number day one of a cabbage with a right radial graft harvest is most important to communicate with healthcare team? So the potential answers are a temperature of 99.9, .9, which is minimally febrile. Uh, most hospitals say febrile is 100.5, so eh. <laughs> Frequent cough, pallor and weakness of the right hand, which is where the uh, graft was taken from, or frequent complaints of incisional pain. So take a minute or two and look at the question, see what you think. Okay, the answer is going to be pallor and weakness of the right hand. So since the graft was taken from the right radial artery, if there's pallor and weakness in that side, it shows a lack of perfusion at the graft site. So at this point, um, if there's no pulse, the physician's going to need to consult vascular surgery to plan a different procedure to revascularize the site. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this slide and these informations about open heart surgeries and valve replacements. Please like and subscribe to my channel.